Hey guys, it's Ektar from Hacked Slash Gaming. Today I just wanted to show you a new build for 1.03. It's a tank build actually, so it's a little different than the glass cannon builds that have been used for 1.03, but after the nerf to uh, increase attack speed, it's pretty much made splinter builds useless. Um, so let's go over this. It's gonna be acid cloud with acid rain as your primary, zombie charger with zombie bears as your secondary. Then you're gonna use spirit walk with honored guest soul harvest with siphon and your next two are going to be long cooldown so this is sort of up to you i'm running with hex and big bad voodoo but you could also use you know horrify with the armor rune uh, mass confusion uh, wallet zombies gargantuan fetish army anything that's going to be a long cooldown for passive skills we're going with vision quests blood ritual jungle fortitude so keep in mind it is a vision quest build which means you have to use your four cooldowns all the time. Now, as far as inventory goes, the biggest change to this build is you're gonna have a lack of DPS. I think I was running around 35k DPS before this build. Now I'm down to 11. So it's gonna it's gonna go way down, and some people are gonna be like shocked by that. It is gonna make the kills much slower, but um, you can tank pretty much anything with this. It's pretty incredible. Um, and even at the high end, I've only seen people with, you know, 13, 14k damage. So I'm not too far off from there, uh, but it doesn't get much higher than this. So the biggest thing with this is you want at least 600 resist. Um, you're going to aim for, as well, uh, 40 max mana regen per second. And you also want uh, at least 700 life on hit. So to get that, I've gotten... A new weapon that's uh, 640 DPS along with uh, 655 life on hit and then I've also got 11 per second mana regen on there I've got 11 per second on my helm and I've also got another another life on hit on my amulet so I think I spent about uh, three and a half million on the gear that I've got here basically stacking resist to all followed by vitality and then intelligence um, another thing is I'm using a shield now, so I swapped the mojo for a shield, but it seems to help quite a bit. On my rings, I'm, this is one of the two, this is sort of has to be replaced, but this one's got uh, 13 to 30 damage along with armor, uh, resist, and then fit. Um, but yeah, just stacking intelligence where I can along with fit and resist all. So still have a few pieces that I have to replace, but um, so far, I'm having quite a bit of success with this build. Okay, so let's uh, let's go check this out. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to show you a bunch of elite kills that I've done. Um, I still do die, and I will die in this video, but it can show you just kind of how crazy this template is. You're essentially just going to go into a pack. You're going to get all four cooldowns going. Uh, I usually like to spirit walk in and soul harvest. And then just start holding down um, Acid Cloud. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward and pretty insane how much damage you can take and just keep living. So, unfortunately, the damage is quite low. Um, battles do take a lot longer, but you can pretty much take on any elite pack with this. I've struggled against a few, and I've just sort of bypassed them, um, but I've been able to kill a lot more with this build than I've ever been able to in Inferno. The biggest thing is that Acid Cloud is going to keep you healing consistently. Zombie Bears is nice to use. I only seem to use it sort of when I can land it. Um, it doesn't it doesn't regen health as quick as uh, Acid Cloud does. So this build's a lot nicer than the other builds in that you don't even really have to kite anymore. You can just sort of stand there. Um, you get you do get into trouble when you end up going up against mobs that will uh, fear you, just because you. You basically have to stand and attack all the time in order for this build to work. Um, but as long as you get like a bunch of melee uh, enemies, then you, you should you should be fine for sure.
So yeah, with this build, you literally just want to keep spamming. Um, spam, 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 spam. And then when you're done doing that, spam some more. So like I said in the intro, um, you definitely need life on hit and mana regen. That's basically why this build is able to be viable. Um, it just makes it so you can pretty much spam consistently and not worry about your mana. So just keep those four cool cooldowns going and uh, spam as much as possible. So hopefully this build is good for you guys and hopefully you have some success with it. I'll uh, be posting some more stuff soon, so thanks for watching.